I make a lot of videos, but I face several dilemmas while I'm making them. For example, background noise is always an issue, as it is right now. There's also the fact that most of these videos I make by myself. I don't even have a cameraman. I just put the camera at a stable place, turn it on, talk, stop talking, turn it off, and cut out the scenes where I'm not talking. This does present some problems. For example, I only have limited memory on my camera, so it just makes the problem worse because my videos take up more space and files. However, it does have some benefits. Without a cameraman or woman, I don't have to deal with them and human error. The issue of background noise usually isn't a problem outside. I mean, the background noise you hear here is just crickets chirping, birds singing, wind rustling against the trees, unless it's too strong. So, and the audience doesn't really mind that. I mean, it's a beautiful sound, all of nature, but when other people are outside, that presents a problem because they're usually noisy. There's also the problem of lighting. Lighting is hardly ever a problem when I'm filming outside unless I'm filming at night time, but terrible lighting eliminates about half the rooms in my house from video making because I can't make a good video in them. Some of the others, though, that do have good lighting are commonly used by my family, so I can't use them because there's so much background noise. It limits me to about three or four rooms that I actually use for filming inside of my house. My camera has its limitations too. For example, I have to use this side of the camera, which displays what is being filmed, so that I know when I film myself that I am in a good position. Of course, that part of the lens isn't as flexible as the other part. So I'm usually left with a limited range of views of my face. Also, my camera can't zoom in or zoom out. It has never been able to do this, except very briefly. I had it for two years before my friend killed a pupa, who is a wizard. I mean, he hacked Webkins by accident when he was eight. And somehow, right when he was using the camera, he was somehow able to zoom in and zoom out. But afterwards, the little piece off of the camera that, when pushed up, zooms in, and pushed down, zooms out, broke off. So now I'm left with a camera that can't zoom in or zoom out. I'm on an epic quest to find out where that music is coming from. I found the source. It's somewhere over here. Where I live isn't even visible from here. It's very small, I don't know if you can see it. But there's a very small swing set over there. That's that, that house over there is where the music is coming from. I think it might be a little too loud. Now this video is probably going to be deleted from YouTube for containing copyrighted music in the background. Also, this is the only computer in my house which has my editing system on it. So if someone else is using the computer, I can't edit my videos. My editing system, Pinnacle Studio 15, almost never saves stuff to the point where I can open it without getting question marks. Sometimes it doesn't even finish the video. It just replace it just silences it or just forgets everything I put in it and replaces it with question marks. This is what I mean when this is what I mean when it's replaced by question marks. It is literally replaced by question marks and explanation points. This is the most frustrating thing I as an editor can see, especially when I've worked hours on end on a on a video. Also, I usually have to balance my also I usually have to balance my channel responsibilities with other responsibilities. For example, I'm not going to be able to upload this on Sunday because that day is when I'm going to do the binder census. 
and that takes hours. So I won't have time to edit it, so I'm going to upload it on Labor Day. Also, Killer Pupa. My last video was longer than 10 minutes. I'm going to have to be punished. Please inbox me when you have come up with a good punishment. Anyone else interested can also suggest punishment ideas.